So basically what I've done, I've now taken my ferro rod off of the multi-tool. And I'll take the lid off. So you can see what I'm talking about. And in here we have some Vaseline soaked cotton ball. And I'll use the multi-tool blade to pull that out. And as you can see, that is a pretty small piece of cotton that has some Vaseline on it. So I'm going to fluff it up, lay it in the stove. So once you have that going, then you basically lay your wood in. And I'll show you a little bit more the wood that I've got going here. And I'm going to pick this camera up and kind of show you what this area looks like right now. So there's the stove going. You can see my biomass there on the right. I've collected enough to fill that up a couple times. And then once it burns down, you set your cup on top of the stove. And then you feed it through the door that's right there on the bottom. So then once you have it going, your pot sits on top of it like this, lid goes on the top, and then you continue to feed from your open windows there. And I'm not going to go through a full boil test, uh, this is basically just to show you how it's set up because I've had several people ask me. It's smoking quite a bit. I've put some uh, wet wood in there too. Uh, really humid today. And you feed in through these windows here. Or the one below it. You can put larger pieces in. Kind of hard to hold that wood and feed it, or hard to hold the camera and feed the wood at the same time. But you get the idea. And in about, I don't know, six or eight minutes, you generally have hot water. You will find ingenious ways to keep feeding wood into this thing. Now the nice thing about using this stove with wood is you don't have to carry the fuel, the extra weight of the fuel, which, you know, four ounces of alcohol weighs four ounces. It's not a lot, but if you're going on a really long hike um, and you underestimate fuel requirements, you can just use biomass 
And uh, again, the reason why I have it sitting on a rock is you can kind of see the sticks that burn and fall out sometimes. So once you get a bed of coals in there, it's, it looks like the stove goes out, but it really don't. You basically just need a little bit of wind on it to reignite it. And even using, I said that some of the wood was damp, it's really humid and some of the stuff was under like some wet leaves. But uh, they'll dry out quick enough if you shove them in there. You wouldn't want to use it as the initial get started fire but once it's going it's not a big deal and I don't know if I should actually uh, let this burn until it, the water heats up I have this weird feeling if I don't people are going to be like oh they probably never really ever boiled water So I like his setup so well that I actually have um, two or three, you know, maybe even four sets of this in different kits and things. So I just like the ability to have options and choices. And I mean, it's just really hard to find a stove with so many options um, also if you wanted to burn with wood all the time you can buy just the DX stand by itself and you can also buy the alcohol stove by itself but I prefer the kit I think that's the best way um, when I show you the stove you'll notice you'll need the stove for the esbit you, or let me let me rephrase that you don't have to have it for the esbit, but it helps to have it for the esbit. Let me just go ahead and grab it and show you why. So normally when you do the alcohol, you pour the alcohol in there, light it. Um, when I do the esbit, I turn it upside down. You have this like platform on the bottom that keeps the esbit from running all over the place. It's kind of an indentation in the bottom of the stove. And I hear water boiling. It's not a full boil yet. If you listen, you might be able to hear it too. And I'm sure it probably took longer on this video than it normally takes in person because I've been like trying to talk, feed the stove, I've nearly, nearly depleted my wood pile. So normally what you would do then, uh, once you have it heated up, there's the cozy. Here is the pot holder. It's used like this. Pac-Man. So normally what I do is I take the lid off, which always has water moisture on it, hot. Then I grab the pot, Let's 
if you can see this. Grab the pot, set it inside the cozy without tipping over because I'm kind of on an uneven surface. Once it's in the cozy, you can then grab it with your hands, but you can kind of see the uh, steam coming out of there. Let me actually raise the camera up. Now you see the steam coming out. Then you put the lid on. Like so, has a sippy cup. So if for hot drinks, this will keep a hot drink hot for about an hour. I, I really love this GSI Minimalist kit. Um, so that's the wood version. Upcoming, I'll have the Esbit and the alcohol methods. And fresh cold water to go with it. And FYI, this is the stove. Now smoking quite a bit. My uh, little camera mount is not doing so good. There's a lot of coals in there though still. I mean this would probably burn for a while. I really just mostly wanted to uh, get it going again to so it stopped smoking for one and for two so it would burn off the uh, what's left in it. There we go. A little bit quicker. And uh, I have at, at some times um, if I've wanted a fire and there's not really like a fire pit area and I was camping I have it sometimes set the stove up and just start a little fire in there and just feed it from the top and it's usually enough to keep the mosquitoes away. Uh, of course, it won't burn all night long. See down inside there. You can definitely tell there's a big bed of coals though because they're stacked almost up to that second window. And I'm going to try to make an attempt to set this camera back down. My camera mount got wobbly for some reason. Something broke or loosened up. And we'll just watch that burn out. Oh. I mentioned the... Uh, I mentioned the uh, aluminum foil windscreen. If it was windy, I could put this around there. And that's basically just how it works. So it goes around. It's uh, tall enough to wrap all the way around that a couple of times. And it still leaves some air circulation in the top. But it's not windy and I don't need it. I just wanted to demonstrate it. And I forgot also, in the bottom of the stove, was another piece of aluminum foil and I forgot to explain what it's for. It's kind of a circular shaped and it was just the size of the bottom of the stove and the reason why I keep it is if I don't have a rock and I want to burn the alcohol stove without using a stand I set the alcohol stove on top of that or if something happens where I need a different cover for the GSI cup I can take the lid off and expand. That's folded over aluminum foil a couple times. So I can expand it out and I still have an aluminum foil lid. And I believe. Let's see if you can see these cars. So that, that's almost full of hot coals yet. I 
I ain't gonna make you watch all this. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off and let it burn out and then we'll start on the esbit and the alcohol.